Hello, it's Fiona Stanton from Fee's Papercraft. This is your bonus project from the box. This is a, a little quick Happy Halloween card. So I'm just going to quickly run through how we do this. So first of all, I'm going to do my stamping. So we're using the big um, frame stamp with some black ink. I'm using Memento ink because I'm going to colour in with um, alcohol markers. If you're using water-based markers, then use a uh, solvent-based ink pad such as um, stays on. Um, you always use the opposite, so then it won't bleed. Oh, that's the idea anyway. Oh, what have I got there? Oh, well, never mind. It will add to the spookiness of it. That's what I say. Then we just add the last add the greeting in so I always tidy up forget that people might be watching watching me and thinking hurry up please hurry up so I don't think it really makes much difference which way around you have the frame there we go and put it away. Okay. So then we're just going to die cut these out using the frames. Can't pick anything up today. So this one is the small frame. Excuse my head if you can see it. Just so I can line this up reasonably well. Keep that going with this. I cut that out. There we go. So you've got dies in here to cut out, you know, two large bats like that. But you've also got these three little mini mini ones which we're going to use so i'm cutting out the large frame with the, the in the glimmer um card the rainbow glimmer card stock. this is lovely i've used this in so many projects absolutely gorgeous there we go so that's going to create the background Okay, so what I'll do is I'll colour in my flowers. I'm just going to use some light, um, just jade. Uh, which I might just do. This is how I blend. It's a little bit of dark there. Now you have to excuse me if I don't do this very well. I normally take my glasses off and get right close to it. So I find it a bit difficult to see the edges of my glasses on from a distance. Sounds funny, as they are for distances. But when it comes to close-up work, I need to take my glasses off. So if I do this badly, please don't shout at me. Uh, I'll try and be as quick as I can. 
I know not everybody likes to watch people colour. And I can't talk in colour, I have to say. If you're very careful, you might see me sticking my tongue out as well. So stamping up, the stamping blends only have two in their set. I know other uh, brands have three. So I just start with the dark and go dark to light. And I find that um, the easiest way to do it. Get my pen over me. And also with the light. So once you've laid down the dark in, in where you want the darkest elements. I also find the um, best thing to do is to go over the dark area with the light blend as well. And that will help you. What do I, have? I want Blackberry Bliss. Sorry, throwing all my pens about. Dark Blackberry Bliss. Light Blackberry Bliss. Right. And then we'll do my flowers. Uh, this is the bit I'm never too sure about. Where you meant to put the dark bits and where you meant to put the light bits, but hey, I think that was probably meant to be a leaf, but hey ho, it's going to be a flower petal. And also, you know, remember to let your colouring dry. Don't think, oh, that doesn't that looks like a really rubbish blend. Sometimes you just need to let it dry a bit and it's a lot better. That's what I find anyway. It's also important to use the right cardstock. I mean, this is just ordinary whisper white. But if I was doing a lot of in-depth colouring, I'd use the extra thick or even the watercolour card. Um, because you need a cardstock that will take the, the ink that you're throwing at it. Whisper white does okay if you're just doing small areas like this and just some rough colouring. But if you're really a colouring expert, then I would recommend the whisper white thick rather than um, this one. Right, so this is a really simple card. Once we've done the colouring, we're just going to layer. Oh, I was meant to put these on dimensionals, never mind. You can put it on dimensionals if you want to. I'm just going to do it flat. This is going to be a flat card today. It looks really striking next to the black, doesn't it? Oh. She says as it slides off. And glimmer card onto the black. I think it looks really striking. And then we've got our three bats. Let's see. They're all on the blue spectrum, aren't they? So well, there's three different sizes, I think. Maybe not. I'll put the little one up here. one over here there we go nice simple Halloween card I hope you all have a very nice Halloween I know it's gonna be slightly different this year um, we're not going trick-or-treating this year but um, we will be doing something for the children thank you very much my name has been Fiona Stanton